Miss California, Paige Adams. Ladies and gentlemen, your host for this evening, Carl Anderson. Come in, Captain, and check your hat. I mean, the joint is jumping. The piano's thumping. The dance is bumping. This is why it's more than hot. In fact, the joint is jumping. Check your weapon back the door. Be sure to pay your boy. Burn the other California Pageant is brought to you by Payless, a proud sponsor of the Miss California Pageant. Payless, the drugstore worth talking about. Cheers.
Federico Leon for our contestants opening wardrobe. Now during this week, the contestants have had the opportunity to converse with the panel of judges and participate in preliminary swimsuit, talent, and evening gown competition. The 10 women with the highest number of points will now continue. The top 10 seeking the title of Miss California are Miss Fair Riverside County. Jennifer Esperante. Miss Sonoma County. Lisa Gonzalez. Miss Greater San Jose. Melissa Dahl. Miss Mendocino County. Miss Los Angeles County. Janine Rice, Miss San Diego. Kelly Kanetni, Miss Anaheim. Lee Sheep, Miss decisions and hey some years you don't to understand the judging process and to make it more fun as you try to match the decisions of the judges here is how the pageant is scored first comes the personal interview worth 30 percent of the final score this is where a contestant presents her views she must be articulate confident and concise swimsuit competition accounts for 15 percent and represents dedication to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. A contestant's talent presentation gives her the opportunity to showcase creative and performing ability. Talent accounts for 40%. The remaining 15% is awarded during evening gown competition where insight into the judge's interview is conveyed. Now, let's meet some individuals who have the monumental task of selecting Miss California. Once again, remind you that swimsuit is 15% of the total score. Now, it's not always the thinnest or the tallest or the prettiest contestant who scores the most, but rather the young lady who best represents a healthy lifestyle and is able to project that lifestyle with confidence. We're going to have a great time in this competition. So why don't you join me on stage? Trisha Lane. 
Minus, Miss Greater Riverside County. magnificent Westgate Hotel serves as the gracious host to our state finalists. Treated literally like queens, our contestants quickly discovered why the Westgate is considered one of the leading hotels of the world. Very high on the agenda this year was a visit to the new and very exciting Gorilla Tropics at the San Diego Zoo. How can anyone visit the world's largest zoo even on a tight schedule without pausing along the way to catch a glimpse of some of the world's rarest and most exotic creatures? A quick bite to eat and they were off to Balboa Park in the Reuben H. Fleet Space and Science Center for some hands-on activity with the scientific exhibits. Once inside the world-renowned San Diego Museum of Art, they were treated to a private viewing of a spectacular maritime exhibit that is on loan to San Diego from the National Maritime Museum. Unhappily, two weeks too early for the Old Globe's exciting free theater summer festival, our contestants at least had a chance to visit the grounds of the Old Globe Theater before leaving the park for Old Town and what has become a tradition of Mexican fiesta dinner, al fresco, complete with mariachi at the historic Casa de Bandino. Having satisfied the palate, now it was time to yield to a shopping urge, and as usual, the nearby Bazaar del Mundo was equal to the challenge. Their next day began on board the West Coast's only single-day cruise ship, Starlight Cruises Pacific Star, where our contestants were greeted by the captain, no less, and our Miss California, Paige Adams, as well as the contestants. 
had little difficulty visualizing themselves off on a wonderful cruise to Mexico instead of four days of grueling rehearsals. San Diego Harbor Excursions was their host for the next few hours. Their visit to Coronado got off to a great start as soon as they discovered that all of the shops at the ferry landing were open, including the bicycle shop. They had a great lunch on the terrace at Pioe's with a spectacular view of the San Diego Harbor and the San Diego skyline, followed by a gourmet dessert at the Bay Beach Cafe. And finally, a trip back to San Diego on the San Diego Harbor Excursion ferry boat. After the successful defense of the America's Cup by Bill Koch's America Cube, hardly a visitor leaves San Diego without stopping by the America's Cup Museum. Who wouldn't love to spend the afternoon aboard a 112-foot yacht cruising San Diego Harbor? What a treat for our contestants to do just that as the guest of Hornblower Dining Yachts on board High Spirit, a classic, beautifully restored 1929 sister ship to the presidential yacht Sequoia. She was designed by John Trumpy, the Frank Lloyd Wright of yacht designers. What a wonderful way to end a beautiful day, enjoying the warmth and gracious hospitality of the immensely popular Valley High Restaurant on Shelter Island. And a spectacular Cantonese dinner. A welcome lunch break brought our contestants back to Balboa Park again for a delightful luncheon on the bridal terrace of the Cafe Del Rey Moro. Later that evening, it was the annual beach party at the Mission Bay home of Carolyn Michael Isio, beautifully catered this year by Pernicanos. The last stop on the contestants' official schedule was the annual visit to the San Diego Rotary Club where San Diego civic leaders quickly discover Miss America contestants are as intelligent as they are beautiful. Once our contestants discovered there was a Wendy's only half a block from the theater, no one was ever late for lunch again. The only problem was getting them to leave Wendy's. Here we go. And get back to the rehearsal. Picture, if you will, a nightclub. It's the year... 1933. is unique to the Miss America program is where our finalists are judged on a combination of four aspects of her presentation. Degree of difficulty, performance quality, entertainment value, and audience response. Let's begin with a classical vocal selection from the fortune teller. Welcome Tricia Linus, Miss Greater Riverside County.
her talent with a lively Latin jazz dance, we now welcome our next fa finalist, Jennifer Esperante, Miss Sonoma County. So now showcasing her talent with a lively Latin jazz dance, we now welcome again our next finalist, Jennifer Esperanti, Miss Sonoma County. in her talent presentation, Oscar and Gladys. Join Lisa Marie Gonzalez, Miss Greater San Jose.
playing on the yodelay, yodelay, Our next finalist combines her vocal ability with the beautiful aria Quando Mein Vu from Puccini's opera La Buam. Enjoy Melissa Dahl, Miss Mendocino County. We've been, we've been advised that we've had a production error with Miss Esperante, and we're going to try this thing again. So, uh... This is live, folks! Pretty soon, I'm going to get out here and do a talent number. Okay, and now, um, let's do it again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Showcasing her talent with a lively Latin dance... We now welcome our next finalist, Jennifer Esperante, Miss Sonoma County.
Yes. Why doesn't Grandma like fishing? Oh, she does. Really? Yep. She likes fishing for bargains at Payless Drugs. Come to Payless Drugs and stock up on American greeting party supplies, greeting cards, and gift wrap. A complete assortment of supplies for all occasions, including weddings and graduations. Grandpa? Yes? Next time, can I go fishing with Grandma? <laughs> Good luck. Payless, the drugstore worth talking about. How smart is... Welcome back to the second half of the 69th annual Miss California pageant. The official state finals to Miss America. Brought to you in part by Baskin Robbins Ice Cream and Frozen Yogurt. Enjoy a delicious ice cream or yogurt treat. Or order a specially made ice cream cake. And get that 30 wonderful feeling today at Baskin Robbins. And by Jack in the Box Restaurants. There's always something new. What to compare to Baskin Robbins ice cream? How about our fantabulabulous yogurt? Nothing tops it. Uh-oh. Did I say top it? Woohoo! Come on! Get that 30 wonderful feeling with yogurt. This year, there are Father's Day gifts in bad taste and good taste. Bad taste and good taste. Bad? Good. And a Baskin Robbins ice cream cake that's in good taste for Dad is in good taste for everyone. One single flea can lay 400 eggs. <sighs> but while regular flea killers can kill the flea, uh -oh. they can leave 400 more to hatch in its place. Raid Flea Killer Plus kills fleas dead in your home and on your dog. Plus, kills their hatching eggs. Raid! Raid Flea Killer Plus kills fleas dead in your home and on your dog. From S.C. Johnson Wax. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your host for this evening, Carl Anderson. Thank you. If you are just joining us, we are coming to you live, and I mean live, from the historic Spreckles Theater in San Diego with the 1992 Miss California pageant, the state finals for Miss America. Now, we're halfway through the talent competition as we continue with our next contestant who combines her performing talent and engineering ability by designing her own set and singing a salute to the silver screen. Patricia Northrup, Miss Los Angeles County. In my dreams, I'm a star on the screen. Follow me and you'll see what I mean.
I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on the... What do you call it? A beat. When did my turn? Wouldn't I love, love to explore that sure above Out of the sea, wish I could be part of that world. On the silver screen That entertainment We'd like to thank Miss San Jose, Lisa, Lisa Marie Gonzalez, for coming on a little early and saving the day for us uh, while we were having those technical difficulties. But ladies and gentlemen, this is live television. Anything can happen. And as we're clearing the stage, awaiting our next contestant. Combining country with 50s rock and roll, we next enjoy the vocal talent of Deneen Rice, Miss San Diego. In a dramatic monologue for our, our next finalist portrays a young woman suffering multiple personalities. Here is Tammy Konegny, Miss Anaheim. I'm scared. It's all green. And the people, the people, it's dripping. It's dripping. You can hear it dripping. Oh, every morning, every morning, when nobody's around and everybody's gone, she pulls down the shade, she pulls down the shade so nobody can see, and she's got me tied up on the table. Oh, it's so cold, it's so cold. The water, the water's running, the water's running, and it has to run a real long time until it's cold enough. She gives me an anima. And my feet, my feet are tied to the broom handle, tied to the broom handle, so she can pull me up. 
Classical sele a selection from the classical ballet Coppelia, in which a doll maker's masterpiece comes to life, is Lynn Sheets, Miss San Francisco.
Sings America from the musical West Side Story is Deborah Rosler, Miss Santa Clara. contestant in talent demonstrates her national award-winning baton ability to a medley entitled Brand New Day. Welcome Kathy Kurtz, Miss San Diego, North County.
gallant portion of tonight's competition. Please join us for our finalists in evening gown. Following this word from Payless, the drugstore worth talking about. A nice round of applause for our 1992 Miss California contestants and their proud fathers. Our finalists in evening gown competition are ready. Please welcome Trisha Linus, Miss Greater Riverside County. performance and the entertainment field. What qualities do you possess which will allow you to be successful in this field? I think that I've been very lucky in been, being raised in a loving and caring family and they have taught me that you put everything in God's hands, you keep a positive attitude and you keep the creativity to still dream but yet you know what the real world is like and that can take you as far as you want. Thank you. Jennifer Esperante, Miss Sonoma County. Considering the recent presidential nominations, what do you believe will be the mood of the voters in the upcoming election? I find it very unfortunate that in the town I live in, in Runner Park, only 27% of the voters at 3 p.m. on the California primary had voted. I feel that every single person should adopt the attitude that one person will make a difference. I've carried an optimistic attitude my whole entire life. That's one of the reasons I'm here today. And I encourage each of you to believe in that statement. And if I do, and if you do, I guarantee you that this world will be a brighter and happier place. Thank you very much. Miss Greater San Jose. You've had experiences as a weather person. What capabilities does one need to be successful in this field? There are quite a few qualities that a weather person definitely needs. One is a personality because as I had tonight some technical difficulties, if you can hold your head up high, put a smile on your face, you can do anything that you can possibly believe in. And in order to be a good weather person, you've got to have a good background, too. I'm in the Miss America program because I believe in education, and the scholarship money that I have received has enabled me to pursue anything that I've wanted. Miss Mendocino County. In your viewpoint, what are the most critical factors for, for preserving biodiversity? The most critical factor, in my opinion, is that people realize that God did not create this earth to be destroyed. I believe because Noah was told by God that he must covenant all creatures that includes every creature, even a spotted owl. So I believe that in that respect, we must preserve every species that exists and live by God's way. Thank you. Patricia Northrup, Miss Los Angeles County.
We have heard that many accidents involving private planes are due to pilot error. Based on your experience as a private pilot, do you believe the required flight training is adequate? I think that the required flight training is adequate. I think that pilots need to take a great responsibility when they're considering flying passengers. Not only do they need to take care of their own lives, but the lives of their passengers. The education is adequate, but pilots need to be responsible and get out there and keep up their licenses. Go out there every 30 days and get their three touch and go so that they're going to be a safe and accurate pilot. Thank you. As a student at San Diego State University, you are aware of current budget cuts for education. How do you personally feel relative to government support of public education here in California? Well, I think that the government spends about $5,000 a year on each student. and. They spend most of their time and energy and money on primary and secondary education, and they leave out the higher education, which is where I attend. And I also feel that if the students of this particular school take hold and channel their energy into a more positive light, then they can promote programs and have participation and provide funds for higher education. Also if the government would promote more projects and more funds, then we would also have more funds in education. Thank you. Miss Anaheim. Your ambition is to have a career in law enforcement. How do you plan to balance the needs of your future family with the demands of your career? There's no doubt in my mind that this will be a very difficult task to accomplish. However, I feel that with God's strength, I can manage a career in the FBI and support my family and be, be there for them when they need me. Thank you. Lynn Sheets, Miss San Francisco. You are currently pursuing a graduate degree in child psychology. How do you personally hope to accomplish, or what do you personally hope to accomplish in this field? Well, I hope to accomplish my master's degree and go on to complete my PhD in clinical child psychology. But the thing that is the most important to me is to inspire youth of today for an education. Coming from a humble background, I realize there are many hurdles that come along with that. So I want to encourage children to know that no matter what your background is, no matter who you are, you can overcome it and make all your dreams come true. Deborah Rossler, Miss Santa Clara. The Rio Conference and the Biodiversity Treaty has become a major focus. In your opinion, have we as Americans taken the appropriate position? I would like to see Mr. Bush sign the treaty that he refused to sign. I would like to see it redrafted so that intellectual property would be protected and we won't have to worry about that. We need to make the sacrifice to protect our environment now because there are many endangered species that won't be around later to protect. We don't know one of those endangered plants could be the cure for cancer. Kathy Kurtz, 
Miss San Diego, North County. The techniques of baton twirling are often under misunderstood. What are the critical factors to consider when judging the performance of a baton twirler? Where do I begin with this question? There's so many technical, technical aspects that go into twirling a baton. There's the blind catch, the backhand, the full hand catch, and also many times the baton twirler tosses it up and spins around as many times as she can. There are, um, are all kinds of other sports and arts that go into baton twirling, such as the grace of a ballet dancer and the eye-hand coordination of a basketball player, and also the power of a gymnast. And I hopefully I have shown you all of that tonight by entertaining you, and I'm still quite sweaty from that. But <laughs> thank you very much, and baton twirling is a very technical sport. Thank you. And thank you to Jasmine Curtis for providing Miss California a beautiful evening gown to take with her to the national finals in Atlantic City. We'll be right back after a word from Tropicana Pure Premium. You can't do the sponsor, but they're generously contributing $2,500 to the Miss California Pageant Scholarship Fund. Let's have a big round of applause for Chevrolet Geo and their dealers throughout the state of California. Thank you. <laughs> June, a young woman receives the title of Miss California and a lifetime of memories. In return, she dedicates one year to represent the state of California. 1991 has provided us with an outstanding representative. We'd like to officially thank her and welcome her back for her farewell remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, accompanied by her father, Larry, Miss California, 1991, Paige Adams. been a combination of challenges and accomplishments. It has also been a remarkable demonstration of how family and friends pull together to support one young woman in pursuit of her dream. Thank you all for walking beside me as I was provided the opportunity to grab hold of my dream of becoming Miss California. I strongly believe in the potential of America's young men and women. I'd like to close my year by urging each of you to academically prepare for your ambitions. Be practical, humble, and persistent. Finally, have the confidence to go for it. Last year, there was a dream out there with my name on it. There's one for you also. Again, thank you all for allowing me to be your Miss California 1991. These young women represent communities from throughout the state of California. 
If you are interested in holding a Miss California, Miss America preliminary pageant in your community or would like to be a contestant, contact the Miss California Scholarship Pageant at 619-233-3550. We all are anxious for the naming of Miss California 1992. That's coming up next. Don't go away. The judges have reached a decision, and the excitement of the evening is about to focus on one of these ten young women. Deanna, may I have the judge's decision, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth runner-up is Jennifer Ann Esperante, Miss Sonoma County. The third runner-up is Lisa Marie Gonzalez, Miss Greta San Jose. The second runner-up is Lynn Sheets, Miss San Francisco. To our first runner-up, we present you with an educational scholarship of $2,500. Deborah Rosler, Miss Santa Clara. announcement of the evening, the winner of $10,000 in an educational scholarship, a spectacular high fashion wardrobe including designs by Arturo Hoya, Carol Anderson, and Jasmine Curtis, and a chance to become Miss America. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss California 1992 is Patricia Norfolk, Miss Los Angeles County. to Miss California pageant has been brought to you by Payless, a proud sponsor of the Miss California pageant. Payless, the drugstore worth talking about. Geo, get to know Geo, the line of import-inspired cars and trucks available right around the corner at your Chevrolet Geo dealers. Southwest Airlines, bringing low fares and convenient flights to many exciting destinations. Southwest Airlines, it's just plain smart. Tropicana Pure Premium, you can't pick up better juice.